So I've got a trajectory plotting here. It seems to be misbehaving though. I'm not sure why it's flicking forward like that. Um, so what I'm thinking I might do What I'm thinking I might do is, instead of it looking forward a certain number of frames, is have it look forward uh, a certain distance. So like, as the trajectory goes out, it's going to trace out a, um, it's going to trace out a, a path, and I can calculate the, um, the arc length of that path just by adding the distance, uh, excuse me, adding the distances between the points. Um, and so what I can do, for example, is instead of making this a for loop, I can make this a while loop. So while path, oops, no, no, I need to declare a new variable. Um, all right, so let's call this a float path equals zero float, okay? So while path is less than, uh, path ahead, let's call it. And so path ahead, we're going to need to declare up here. Um, I'm going to leave the end frames declared up there um, just so that I, I mean, there's no point in deleting it. It just won't be used. Um, let's see, what's our sense of scale here? This uh, camera looks out on, it's got a size of five, right? Cause it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16. I don't know what the, I don't know what the, the grid squares represent. So this thing has a, has a size of five. Oh, no, wait, excuse me. The viewport has a width of one. Okay, I don't know what size means there. Um, the viewport uh, has a width of one and a height of one. So having it have a, <clears throat> uh, so having it have a height, uh, excuse me, a length of one, it's gonna be like the length of the screen. That's gonna be a bit much. Um, so let's say we have this be, I don't know, let's make it a half for now. Um, so we've got our path ahead there. Okay, so we've got, oh, where'd it go? Path ahead, there we go. Um, so we've got the path ahead here. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Um, let's get rid of, oh yeah, let's say if path is greater than or equal to path ahead. Uh huh. And so each time we need to add um, the distance traveled, which is this vel times time times time the uh, times the change in time um, so I need to say path uh, plus equals uh, this thing here uh, yeah that ought to be fine uh, oh wait actually I'm done with the magnitude of that um, actually let's let's be a little smarter about that uh, let's declare a new thing vector 2. Uh, D path, so the change in path is equal to that thing, okay? And so this is going to be D path dot magnitude. Do I need parentheses at the end of magnitude? I don't know. I mean, you either don't need the parentheses at the end of magnitude, or you need magnitude pop pop. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, six seasons in a movie, six seasons in a movie. Um, let's see here, uh, points dot add. Yeah, so what I wanna do is I wanna add to that the magnitude of D path. And so that'll keep adding to path, which I've initialized to zero. Um, cause this is, cause this um, D path thing, that is the, that's the vector going from the previous point to the next point. And so if I take its magnitude, that's the distance there. Cool, cool. I think that leaves, Everybody happy? Oh, this should be if path is less than path ahead. Excuse me. <laughs> Oops, that wouldn't work, would it? Um, okay, let's give that a try. All right, stop, please. Let's run this thing. Oh, I can take out those print statements too, can't I? 
Okay, that's keeping it at a... Oh, it's curving. It's curving. Do you see that? Oh, that thing is curving. Oh, and look at how much it changes when I apply the thrust. Oh, man, that's cool. Oh, man. Oh, oh my gosh. That is what I wanted. That is what I wanted. I want that to be a little bit longer. Um, oh, my gosh. That's so exciting. Oh, wow. I did not expect that to work the f so soon. It wasn't the first time, but the first time after I made that change. Oh, wow. Okay, so a couple of cosmetic things. Let's get rid of these print statements. Um, we don't need those anymore because we've confirmed that that's working. Um, okay, that's the only print statement there. Uh, let's find print in ship controls. And that I believe that was the only, those were only things printing. Yep. Okay, cool. That's awesome. All right, let's make the path ahead. Uh, let's see, that was a half. That was, it was kind of helpful. Um, let's make it one. Okay, the units must be different compared with the screen size and everything. Um, let's see what we get here. Total distance dot tall. Oh yeah, that's a bunch of stuff that I was using earlier for like debugging, but I don't use anymore. Okay. Ooh, all right, cool, cool. Oh no, oh no. That doesn't seem to be that much longer. That seems to be going to the front of the ship, basically. Yikes! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, man! <laughs> this thing adds this impending sense of doom. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be any longer than the ship. Am I doing... Am I setting that up the, the right way? Um, Let's increase it by a factor of 10. Um... <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, let's see, path, it, well, path less than path ahead. Okay, and every time it comes, it calls, so it's gonna call this once per frame. So it's calling get points once per frame. And it's getting, so it's calling get points once per frame which means that it's declaring path to be zero every time, right? Hmm. Path plus equals d path dot magnitude. And so it should be, let's, let's, okay, so let's, let's change to 10. If it doesn't, if the, if the length doesn't change now, then I know something's up. All right, the length didn't really change. Interesting. Whoa. <laughs> uh. I mean, it's fun to work with, but I was kind of hoping that it would, um, I was kind of hoping that it would, yeah, it's, and it's definitely getting more elements, right? It's definitely getting more elements, but the difference between those, let's let's do a little bit of math here. What's the, because that's about a line, right? Let's do a little bit of math here. I don't, I'm pretty sure that doesn't come out to be 10. Um, I don't know why my Windows background changed to yellow. Maybe I changed it or something. All right, let's take, let, let, let's take just the straight line distance from that. So we got 4.4 minus, oh, basically the same thing, 4.43. Ooh, that's not promising. Uh, oh, oh, duh! It's most it's vertical, Brian. It's mostly in the y direction. <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't mind me, folks. Just trying to physics over here. Five point five two seven minus no 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 no. Five point five two seven minus. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Five point oh two two six nine two. That's a half. That's what I had it as before. Did the Parameter change on here? Oh, no, it didn't. That did not change. <clears throat> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I changed it. Okay, so the problem is that I changed it in the script. It hasn't updated in the game yet for some reason. Do you hit F5 to do that? I don't remember. 
or there's a reset. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, so my in frames wasn't changing either. Oh, geez. Well, I like, I like the idea of the, of the constant distance ahead still. Um, although 10 is, well, let's run it with 10. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Wow. There we go. That, and that is, uh, that is curving. Yep. Okay. That's, that's about what I wanted. Oh yeah. That's curving. Oh, get away, get away. Okay. Yeah. It's, oh, okay. So it's mostly turning out straight because of the thrust that I'm applying. All right. That was way long. <laughs> Um, tell you what, the whole reason they have this little slot here is so that you can play around with the, uh, with the values. So let's try path ahead one. <laughs> let's try that now. So now it'll take that into the game. Uh, okay. I like, I like, I like. Turn around, turn around. Get away, get away, get away. Oh, geez. Okay. And the game's not running any slower, I don't think. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, that told me there was a... Oh, get out of my way, dude. Get out of my way. Pew. Okay, there we go. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. Okay, well... No, no, no. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. There we go. Okay. Here we go. I think I'd like it to be a little bit longer. Maybe three, I think. Um, so I tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a three. I think that'll be a little bit better. 3.0 super float. Um, the other thing I'm going to do, so I don't think it needs to be incrementing forward. Well, no, it does need to be incrementing forward the same delta time. I was guessing I could probably double that or something, but I think it needs to, I think it needs to be the same. Uh, so let's go over to look ahead. I said, I said, look ahead. There we go. Let's save that. Uh, then we'll reset this guy. All right, let's, let's try out three. I think that'll be a nice, that's actually a bit long, I feel like. So I think, so probably what I'll do in the game is, so I'll, so I'll set it to two for me. And in the game, um, you'll start out with zero. You'll start, you won't start out with it. And then when you first get the power up, this upgrade, it'll be a one and then a two and then a three. Okay, let me make a little note to myself about that. I made that note in uh, Google Keep and it occurs to me I should probably put it in a comment in here. Um, <laughs> So, uh, power up, or, or ship upgrade, that's what I'm looking for, ship upgrade starts at one, then moves, then changes to two, then to max. Of, I think three would be the maximum in the game. Oh, cool. Oh, man. Okay, so as soon as I turn off the thrust, we get into the orbit there. Um, Oh, you know what? That's also inaccurate because I have the... Do I still have the drag on this guy? I guess I do. I do. So I guess it's time to decide whether to have the drag present in this game. Oh, because that actually does impact the the look-ahead trajectory. Uh, let's, I tell you what, let's turn off the linear and angular drag for this thing for right now. Let's just see what that, I've, I've been doing that to make the game a little bit easier to work with. Um, except then I, whoa, 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 whoa. Except, well, except the problem is then you just, you keep moving, right? So you don't have this max, because when you put in the drag, you effectively have this maximum speed that you can reach. Although this is actually kind of fun without the drag. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oop. Although to be realistic, you do need a maximum speed because you can go faster than the speed of light. So. Oh, now I don't know where anything is. I've gone too far away. Uh, where did I go? I am, oh, I am way off the map, yep. And that, folks, is why I think there needs to be a maximum speed in the game or something. Yeah, so, yeah, so this is where this is where I run into a little bit of a quandary because I like having the drag in there because it makes the ship easier to control. It's not really physically reasonable to have the drag, to have a drag present because this is space, although I suppose you could argue that all these black holes, you know, they've, they've collected some, you know, nebula of dust around them, so there could be a drag force. 
but that's um impacting the uh but that's impacting the look ahead this making the look ahead uh unusable or i could just add the drag force into the force for the look ahead um <clears throat> That wouldn't be too difficult because I could just access the things linear drag. Um, why don't we do that? Actually, let's yeah. Why don't why don't we do that? Let's let's put the drag in at 0.5. Um, and what I need to do is I need to find out. It says linear drag coefficient. I assume that means that the drag force is linear. That it's not the one half rho v squared blah blah blah. That it's the negative bv. But let's learn about that together so let's find out what does what does the unity drag force look like okay so there doesn't seem to be too much consensus online as to whether this is uh this co the drag force is this coefficient times uh c times the velocity or times the velocity squared there's also not really a consensus on whether it's actually using that uh formula i've only had it in as a convenience so I think it might be time to take it out um, just because, I mean, this is a space game. There shouldn't be any drag acting on the ship. Although I suppose what you could do, and actually, because I've been wondering about how I might um, incorporate, you know, an edge to the game, is if the, oh dear, is if the ship goes far away from, you know, sort of the 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 last of the black holes um, that you could have it automatically slow down, you know, um, it could also be helpful if I could zoom out or I could have it zoom out to where you can see the black holes better. Um, let's see. No, no, no. Yeah. Part of it is I need a background, I think, so that I can visually tell better. So I think, I don't know. Uh, what? What? So maybe, maybe I should end with this question. What do y'all think? Should there be some kind of natural drag of the ship? Because right now I'm, the problem I'm running into isn't so much my own, isn't so much the black holes as it is my own uh, inability to generate enough thrust to to send the thing going back. Um, so there's there's how about how about we let's see how long have I been recording. 20 minutes, okay. Hmm. Okay, cutting back. So I've done some research and there doesn't seem to be much consensus on what the formula for the drag is, uh, which is unfortunate because it's, it's useful in the game, but I need to be able to predict how it's, uh, how it's moving. So I've got a couple of options. I could leave it in and just say, okay, the look ahead is based on a um, a dragless environment, um, or I could, uh, put in, I could put in my own drag force and just have it calculate that and then set the drag here in the rigid body 2D to zero and just calculate the drag on my own. Um, I could have no drag, uh, which has been kind of difficult. I've done a little bit of testing with it and the ship very easily kind of flies away. Of course, I could indicate I need a larger playing field. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to think about that. Uh, let me know in the comments how you think I should proceed with drag or no drag, uh, my own manual drag or to have the ship like turn around at the, at the edge of the playing field. Um, cause that's something I'm, I'm interested in figuring out how to address for right now though. I think we'll, we'll leave the drag in just for the sake of, um, uh, just for the sake of the, of, of me play testing it so that my ship doesn't you know, go off flying on, uh, away from the, the playing field too much. Um, but I'll think about that. You let me know what you think, and uh, I'll incorporate uh, whatever seems like the best idea. See, this is where the look ahead is really useful, is navigating between black holes. And let's turn around. So, yeah, I think that'll do it for today. That's been a lot of fun. Um, this is going to make playtesting this thing a lot more, a lot easier. Um, so I want to thank y'all very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.